everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the Delta Flight Club Qualifier. It's the top 16. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I want to remind you, yes, we're live at a super awkward time. We do have normal streaming hours, and uh, they are Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, all listed right there on the side. So hopefully we can see you for the podcast on Monday. Uh, on Mo- Monday? That's a new type of day, apparently. M- Monday! <laughs> or for our Flight Club community games on Wednesday and Saturday. Now, this qualifier is part of a series we're putting on where we have, depending on how you place in Swiss, you're placed in a certain championship level of, um, or, or cer- certain championship event of your level uh, to play people for that championship swag at a level that is yours. So we got recruits, we got veterans, we got aces. Check it out, goldsquadronpodcast.com. We got two more qualifiers coming up, the Sigma and the Omega, and then we're following that up. Pretty much right away with those championship events. So, I'm about to open that Choose Your Champion polling for everybody who is uh, watching live. And while I'm doing that, my co-host, William Hagwood, is going to break down these lists. How's it going, Will? Uh, let's go. Oh, no. I just closed. <laughs> Will will be right. <laughs> will will be right with you. Um, as you can see, those HPs are headed towards the middle of the board, and uh, we're gonna we are going to open up the choose your champion betting. Let's go ahead and pretend like none of that ever happened. We're just gonna double check to make sure things are working on our side. All right, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and break down those lists. All right, so on our left here. We have Tommy Adams flying some uh, Rebels. He's got Wedge Antilles uh, with foils, Rogue Squadron Escort, Fire Control System, Proton Torpedo R3. Jake with a Proton Rocket and AP5 with Leia Organa. So a a real true Rebel salad out here uh, with uh, varying ships. We got a couple of support ones. AP5 uh, basically dedicated to a support role with his white coordinate and Leia's ability to reduce the difficulty of red maneuvers. Uh, Jake can hand out some focuses when he boosts some barrel rolls, which should help Wedge double modify his shots. And the Rogue Squadron, pretty much a self sufficient piece here, uh, getting able to get a couple of target locks early, has fire control system for re rolls. And proton torpedoes for that long range damage. Now, very Will, interesting little salad. Will, real quick, I'll go ahead and hit uh, Dan's. You're coming in a little bleepy and bloopy. If you want to maybe do a, do a quick refresh of Discord so that we could see if that can resolve itself. Um, you're cutting up, and I want to hear all of those sweet tones. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Did it, did it, did it fix itself? No, nah, it's still it's still there. Maybe a quick restart. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, no worries. I, I, we'll keep the boat afloat. All right. Well, uh, on Dan's side, we got not one, not two, but we got four of these HMP gunships. Now there's a couple of different ones out there. We got DGS 47, uh, who is beautifully wearing the color yellow. All right. So that one is the HMP that says after you perform an attack if the defender is in your front arc you may acquire a lock on it. Of course that synergizes amazingly with that networked aim and there is a second part of the ability as well it says then if the defender is in your bullseye it gains one strain token. So um, again working with that networked aim setting up another target lock for its friends very nice and of course potentially little added bonus of lowering the defense of the enemy we also have three Bactoid drones in the house those are just your initiative one generics and uh, the, he's got a very similar loadout on all of them uh, but not all quite the same okay so we have on the green and brown we have cluster missiles and concussion missiles on both of those we got a couple of different options missiles at range one two and three making sure that we got that got a three dice gun set up as early as possible you can see that those drk droids that were being carried by the red hmp one are is, is already headed towards the rebels to set up those target locks before they even get there 
So super useful there. On DGS 047, we also have Kraken. All right, Kraken, absolutely amazing, uh, amazing droid here. Kraken allows you to hold on to up to three, if I'm not, not if I'm remembering correctly, yes. Um, yeah, up to three calculates in your squad, and th the fact that there are four of the ships, that's you know 75% of your squad carrying an extra calculate into the battle. Pretty nice, having a lot of resources out there. And uh, of course, we also have General Grievous rocking on DGS saying that while you defend after the neutralize results step, if there are two or more uncancelled hits or crits, you may spend one charge to cancel one of those hits or crits. And after a friendly ship is destroyed, you get one back. But essentially, reducing the amount of damage going into DGS as it, as it is the uh, most expensive of the four HMPs and is a great support ship in there. DGS also rocking some ion missiles. Ion Ion bad, you know, you don't you don't want to have your ships ionized out there. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of tech in those HMPs. We know that they're really good. You got a lot of options. And uh, of course, their superior maneuverability. You got the side slips out there. That's, that's something that we'll get to see, especially if you haven't played against HMPs. You got to watch out for those funky movements. Do we have Will back? Yeah, hopefully... Uh, more organic sounding. <laughs> more organic sounding. <laughs> All righty. Nothing against these, you know, nothing against the inorganic droids here facing down the rebel squad. All righty. All right, Will. So if you were playing Choose Your Champion, what would you what would you be choosing? Mm. This is a tough one. Uh, the time on target for the HMPs is very good, but the Rebels just have a lot more firepower against the one agility. So I think I had to lean into Tommy Adams too. Now, it's a really, you know, Tommy's list is super interesting. So we got, first, we have some shots going into the, uh, into the DRK there. Um, essentially what he does, he has two different fire teams. It's kind of what it looks like. You got Jake supporting the Rogue Squadron, and it's Big Punch. It's Big Proton Torpedo. And then you have mm -hmm. uh, AP-5 supporting Wedge, right? C supporting that, that attack. I, mean, I know that Wedge doesn't have a Proton Torpedo, but still being able to reduce the agility out there. It is one of those bigger... Um, you know, it, it, Wedge can punch pretty hard when you're reducing agility, auto-straining people, essentially. Exactly. Because one one of the one of the complaints we've had a long time for about the E wings is that they have no way to reposition and get a focus, mm -hmm. um, because they you know they're so good at setting up target locks. Basically, Tommy's like, well, what if I just get you a focus a different way, and you can do all your all your games. So it, you know it's a Jake is a it's a thirty nine point uh, piece out there, but also has its own proton rocket out there. You gotta you gotta watch out. <laughs> yeah, respect the proton. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to see how this shakes out. Oh man, let's go ahead and take a peek at where, where the, where the money is. Okay, where are our GSP points? And it looks like a major. Oh, actually, we're almost fifty-fifty. There's still a minute thirty left out there. Currently, fifty-one percent to the rebellion and forty-eight percent to the separatists. If you need those instructions on how to play, choose your champion right there. By the way, shout out to our season one winner. I think uh, we, we, he was on, he was in the chat yesterday, and uh, basically it's a race of 500,000 points. We sent him out a, a t shirt and some other little swag that has his name on it, rocking it, proclaiming that he is the season one champion. Who knows who will be next right now? Um, we can't actually. Uh, maybe we can tell who's on who's on top right now. Let's see. Right now, Le Bignari Pilot, uh, Le Le Pirate on Bignare is the current leader in Choose Your Champion with seventy nine thousand points, seventy nine thousand nine hundred and sixty nine. Uh, but Nabs four twenty is on his heels. So wa watch out, watch out. <laughs> now, wh what do you think about this approach by Tommy? This is what I was actually 
um, thinking about here of whether Tommy would normally deploy uh, like a more rigid block and stay together, and he's only um, spreading out because of the clusters. But then again, I mean, uh, Wedge, Jake, and the E-Wing all have boost. Right. Like, they have no reason to pretend to be slow. Uh, might as well take advantage of being fast. So we'll see. We'll see about that. I uh, don't like AP fires repositioning, but I, I kind of or positioning, but I kind of think he's just going to reverse here. It's hard, hard to say how much he's committed to supporting Wedge, or if he's kind of providing a distraction as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the chat just mistook you for Marcel. I said Marcel is still still very bleepy and bloopy. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, uh, it, it it is it is still popping just a little bit. I don't what? know. I don't know. This why is, why why is this never come up in sound tests? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's only know. it's only when live. It might be a gain. Your your gain might be too high. It might be too strong. You might be clipping. Let's see. I'll bring you up on my side. Give me a check uh -huh. one, two. Check one, two. Like 90% gain. Yeah, I mean, you sound, you sound, it sounds better. I think we got rid of the clipping, but it's still, uh, it's still a little bzz, 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 once in a while. We'll see, we'll see if it, if it, you know, if it relaxes. I, I know here in the I'm U.S. Sure, it'll figure itself out. Here in the U.S. at like three, four o'clock in the morning is when like internet service providers like reset a bunch of stuff. So it might, it might just be a slight slowdown in speed. We should be good. Should be good. All right. So AP five going towards wedge, giving him a focus, and hiding a little bit behind that rock. I wonder. I like this. He's got a he's got a hard turn. Uh, lane back in. Mm hmm. The HB is doing the classic side slip along the board edge. That's what they're so good at. Okay. You said it's, it's, I think, I think, I think we're good now. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever you did, if you're holding your hand out the window or something, just keep doing that, okay? <laughs> I rolled up the window. <laughs> Let the internet in the window. All right. <laughs> now, you see that uh, Dan really hard committing. I, I don't know if this is like a, like a fear tactic or what, but there are three target locks out there on Wedge. Like that, that, is, that is a pretty hard commit when those HMPs cannot have multiple things locked. Or, or, or is he just playing? Is he playing coy right now? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to go after Wedge. And we end up seeing these these uh, these Roombas turning down to the bottom of the board. I didn't see if he did get the how much how many. Uh, well, I guess they're all measured from the pro droids. I didn't see if the pro droid uh, got the rogue squadron in range, but it's definitely a, a scare tactic, right? Like, mm, what you better think about coming in for this joust over here. Mm-hmm. Trying to see if he set up that lane. Uh, if he flies really fast, he can maybe get through that obstacle. But I think that debris is just blocking a straight approach here. All right. So Tommy prioritizing getting rid of that HMP. Sorry, not the HMP. The uh, the DRK. <laughs> the other set of three letters. Fully modified shot, by the way. Target lock focus. Okay. Three. And actually, it's too many dice, isn't it? Because <laughs> of which, or does yeah, which... but it doesn't matter yep. at that point. <laughs> you only need to do one damage it's, to those. It's, it's actually range three, and so oh, uh, range three. You're uh, right. Got it. It's dead though. It's gone. Probe droids rip. Now that rogue squadron just a little bit outside could not quite reaching HMP. It would have been nice if he could have just been a little bit farther forward, but you can't can't have it all. And here we go, AP five back gun. 
one crit and a focus. Trying to see if he can get rid of that DRK. Not today. All right. So. Uh, -da -da -da. And draws as damage cards get shuffled back in, right? Yeah, that's. I think that is the the new clarified ruling on the uh, on there. Damage cards for what? For remotes after they're destroyed. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's. I don't know. <laughs> it. I, I find. I find it kind of strange. Chris Crits don't matter on them, though, and I guess you want to try to keep the crit possibility for ships that actually matter the same. Yeah. Exactly. Alrighty. We'll, we'll go ahead and just ask them to do it. You're right. Please shuffle remote damage back into deck. So at that point, more ceremoniously deal them damage than anything. Exactly. So we saw. Uh, so how these side slips work is that they can only side slip every other round. We saw side slips this round. So we cannot see any side slips, which would be nice to side slip the other way, but. Like away from combat here. You have the 180 degree arc. Uh, and hard turns. They could just all hard turn towards the E-Wing. As kind of a bluff. But you are rocking a lot of lock based munitions. Mm -hmm. So. Kind of need to take advantage of that. And when he, uh, when he did measure the locks. Uh, the rogue wasn't out. So only, he did only have the options of wedge and AP5. Yeah. You see yellows, yellows on AP5 out there. Now, now one, one of the things is, you know, with Kraken, the fact that he was able to hold on to those three calculates, he can, if he really wants to, just kind of to just shift down to the E wing and use the normal target lock action to get target locks on on uh, on that rogue squadron and just decide to switch there. You're not going to end up having you know, double the calculates out there, but you still have a decent, decently modified shots. If you think wedge is just going to play coy and just one forward here. And, uh, and that E wings coming in for some big damage. Yeah. I don't think the wing has like options to get away from the hard turn here towards mm -hmm. him. Um, except maybe like a one forward barrel roll just to keep like range dodge. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I feel like he's doing a little bit more aggressive than that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll see if the, those locks uh, make Wedge hesitate here of just crashing in. I mean that that this is this is that exciting part of the game where you know <laughs> to Tom, Tommy's got to decide like is that is are these uh, is this a bluff? Do I go do I go fast here? Do I accept yeah, what's going to happen if those HMPs come at me? Do I just go for it anyway and just try to kill one? Yep. With their so currently, like I said, their side slips are inactive, so it does reduce the difficulties of their straight maneuvers. So they do have a white five forward here, and that's really the problem with the uh, HMPs is like the difference between stop side slip. Uh, like hard turn and five forward with that 180 degree arc is very difficult to exactly predict where they will go. Uh, looks like we have a Leia charge here. Interesting. Um, I assume it's for like AP5 doing a backup or something. Probably. 
All right, so you can see Dan committing to wedge. I mean, if he if he called it right and we see this E wing do something like a three hard to the left. Same thing with Jake, just making sure they get the arcs on. I mean, I guess even a one bank would be fine as long as he he the the rogue has range to uh, to the red HMP and wedge can also shoot that one. He might be able to clear one off the board. Mm hmm. And preferably you take DGS zero forty seven, but. That also has a general grievous out there, so you might not want to do that. Right, essentially has an extra health more than all these other guys. All right, so we got a yep. one reverse. That means AP five is not going to be contributing to battle. Just gives Wedge the focus. Remember that is a focus action, so Wedge cannot take an additional focus token. Yeah, Banana's wings open uh, to shoot the probe droid, so no linked into boost shenanigans here. Activating Jake first over the rogue. I'm I'm a little bit surprised with that. A little bit surprised because I'm not sure the barrel roll keeps him in range one. I think he's got it. So barrel roll. Take Ooh, just a bit outside. Not going to be able to get that focus token out there. No, that's in. It's in. That's in. Oh, because it only does it's it in. only spawn. Yep. Uh, it only the the chat only spawns uh, on enemies. Yep, on enemies. Yeah. So probably looking to. Booster bear roll that rogue get the double modified proton torpedo. Jake's pretty safe here. Well, he still links into the boost. Set him for that proton rocket next round. The HMPs not well, really. I did get some juking on him. I think uh, the rogue went in for a block or something there. Yeah, that, maybe that, they were in. That's a little, maybe, a little, a little unexpected. Maybe they were expecting another side slip, uh, not really realizing they had already side slipped. Yep, and I think I think this is, I think that Tommy thought. That those HMPs were going to crash down onto the E-wing, so th that that move would have would have would have uh, might have gone to the side of the group and been able mm -hmm. to boost along the edge and and been out of a couple of the arcs, the front rank at least. So uh, wrong choice there on Tommy's part. But I mean, it was a fifty-fifty. You had no idea, right? I had no idea. I'm still surprised he gave the focus to Jake then if he's going to be so far out of the engagement. But we'll see here. We got Wedge starting up soft. Hit it, crit. Going to be able to hold on to that focus. Going to need it. Spends one of those calculates. Taking hit, crit. Right away on that red Roomba. Couple shields down. Yeah, that one does have the ion missile. Ready and uh, engaged. Jake, range three. It is a bullseye shot, but nothing special. Just good feels when you have it in the bullseye. Right. No mods on that one. Ooh, bad feels when you gave your mod away. Yeah. Somebody else. Tommy going to have to lean, in, lean into some natties. Oh, Wedge is out. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, that's that, not, that, that's not a shot on Wedge. <laughs> that is a good thing. That is a good thing for Wedge, only uh, being in front, know, the range of the front one, though AP5 could get nuked here. The bad thing for AP5, yeah, because that was also that was a DGS strain as well. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, DGS... I already got that lock on AP5. Already in his arc, so probably gonna shoot an ion missile here. 
That should deny the coordinate from AP5 next round, if possible. Mm -hmm. Alright, nice. You can only perform the focus action. AP5 don't got no focus action. Alright, here we go. First missile getting launched here. This is an ion missile. I mean, spend to, spend to confirm, or to spend to can guarantee the hit mostly. Uh, should ensure the ion as well. Yes, there it is. One damage, one ion. Oh, so, that's so good. So you know that AP5 is going forward next turn. If it lives. No, nah, I think all the other shots going into the wedge. Got an opening here. Well, does green even have range? If yellow didn't have range. Uh, if, it, if it got set up like a pixel for <laughs> more for <laughs> forward, then it, then it works. All right, what kind of missile we got here? Long range missiles are. Uh, this is from Red, an ion missile. Mm hmm. Into Wedge. And didn't come up with anything there. Spending the target lock. Uh, no, that's no, actually. No, sorry, that's three. That's networked aim. Three, tar three target locks equal three re rolls. Excuse me. Yep, but never still, aim says... only ends up with one. See if that wedge can defend. Got him. No problem. So that network game ability says you cannot spend your locks to reroll dice. While you perform an attack, you may reroll a number of attack dice up to the number of target locks on the defender. And confirmed green back toy does not have range on wedge. Just a bit outside. Wow. If Wedge had done anything more than that one forward. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Two hits. Three agility for AP5. Two plus a range bonus. And got a natty out of that. Honestly, Tommy, Tommy coming out here looking pretty right now. Mm-hmm. Yep, getting lucky there. The uh, Wedge... Staying, at, staying out of range. Maybe there were some good calculations there of the rule of 11, but uh, we'll chalk it up right now to <laughs> a bit of luck. Here's another. It looks like we're moving on to the concussion missiles now. And this, this is likely going to do some damage. We'll spend one of these calculates out here to make it three. Mm -hmm. Hit it, crit. And there you go. Shields down on Wedge. That could have been much worse. Much worse. Yeah. Wedge could have been ionized and limping along. Nothing to do uh, but to crash into these HMPs. Now, they have activated the side slips. So... Has to either go straight or side slip. I would assume we're going to see some side slips here to both block Jake and kind of get onto the side of Wedge instead of kind of a direct joust onto him. Mm -hmm. Agreed. But I mean, so if I'm Jake, probably just dial in the two forward and figure it out later, right? Like you, you don't want to go too fast because of that block. And you might have an opportunity to set up a uh, a proton rocket if he exactly. gets if if it fits in there. Yeah, you uh, you've more or less abandoned the rogue squadron, so no need to go and find him for support. Mm. Uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty much on two forward and hope the bear roll focus can line up a rocket. I think those HMPs are going to be swinging in um, pretty hard here with some hard threes. And it's going to get right in his way. So, might end up just bumping into the back of him, but hey, not getting shot, right? Yep, that's true. And he still can set up a range one shot. And potentially this E-Wing kind of hanging out on the side right now should hook around. I'm assuming, I want to see that three hard, Tommy. Get aggressive. You got to get some shots. Uh, looks like they, they accidentally skipped AP5's shooting. Going into the DRK and does 
do the single damage there. All right, there you go. Uh, probes are done. Ceremonial card, and then put right back <laughs> in the deck. <laughs> right. So nothing has to happen there. Yeah, the, the new rules with the um, with the the explanation for for how damage is is dealt with with remotes is they're once destroyed the cards are shuffled back into the deck. So when you take one damage on a remote, you just all right, it's dead, and don't even worry about the deck. Yep, uh, except for the sensor sensor buoy that does have two hull. But yeah, thanks, thanks to FFG for uh, letting us skip a step or two in that. Mm -hmm. I am waiting for the 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 big chunker remote though. That's got like four or five hole. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like what is that thing? Get out of here. <laughs> yup. Oh man, Java pilot win, maybe. I did the voice. Now I thought about it. <laughs> How would that work? Uh, uh, if we got the that uh, sand barge or whatever. You know what I want to kind of see? I want to see a movie or a show when like Jabba's like a young hut. You know, where he's not like so big, where he's like like doesn't move anywhere. In but he's immobile. Yeah. yeah. Because we got we got uh, if you ever watch Freemakers, right? We got Rabala the hut. You know, he's pretty mobile. Hat lives a lives a decent life. He's bullied constantly by Jabba, but you know, like you know, he does stuff. He does stuff. Rada the Hut from the Clone Wars didn't cut it for you. Nah, no, nah, I need some Jabba. I, I, I want I want to see Jabba moving around and like choke slamming people because he's such a such a bad guy. You know, like I just I want I want to see him just being not cool. You know, recharging elicits. You know, just soliciting crime. Felsepto went Freemakers question mark. It's a it's a kids Lego Star Wars for kids. It's awesome, by the way. I really enjoy it. Lego Freemakers. It's no longer being produced. It's a uh, it uh what's it's a complete show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I thought the E wing did boost last round. It did, yeah. the The E wing went boost, straight. Right? Yeah, it went. It was at a forty five. Went straight and used the boost to correct the angle. And the focus, so yes, the focus was from Jake. Jake. Exactly. All right, no side slips, fake out. Getting all up in the face. I mean, AP five. Won't be able to coordinate because of the ion, so that's why the H and P's are like, you know, this this wedge ain't gonna get a ain't gonna get a uh, an action anyway. Ooh, looks like we're gonna set up for some range one super arcs. It's a red barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Remember, those H and P's have a full front arc, so a whole 180 degrees. So that. Shimming over to the side, just making some room for the buddies. And giving them some options. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure. Now I'm lost. <laughs> that was a great yeah, setup. I, I, I uh, thought, yellow yeah. was enough by Ford as well. I'm, surpri I'm surprised we're getting a stagger here. All right, so he's broken the block. No more block, but you're giving space to Wedge, which is, I am a little little confused why we're doing that but hey you know what dan here is in the top 16 fought against 160 other players let's see what we get and i mean i think i think, I think he might be opening a... himself up up for a lot of attacks here proton rocket reds just one forward in proton coming around yeah proton torpedo options as well I mean, yeah, exactly. Dan, Dan could could lose the the red, the uh, 
the the red HMP looks to be in big danger because you got a AP5. That's his only shot. Even though it's through a rock, I think I would still fire that proton torpedo over there. Mm-hmm. So double checking the side slips here. You do a two after you execute the side slip, flip back over to the inactive side. There is the focus action. And that is a uh, a procket ready to happen. If he wants to focus fire, I think he could barrel roll over to the left and line up a nice bullseye onto red. Or he can just, if he's not willing to risk the barrel roll to the left, just stay there on green. Oh, yeah, he wants yeah he's fire. got it. He wants that focus fire. He's got three shots for sure on it. Let's see what Wedge does here in a minute. Yeah. Well, just could have won forward, could have done something crazy. Looks like he might have done something crazy with the uh the double check of the foils here. Man, because if he went one forward, he might be able to fit a right boost and then have full all four there's the one forward. Focus. Is he going to attempt that boost to the right? Yes, he yes. <laughs> He wants to get rid of... So, actually, the bear roll there was to... He called the one forward and was trying not to block. Uh, yeah, I... And he also got out of Brown's arc with the boost as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think... I think the p Positioning-wise, this round goes to Tommy, but I feel like Dan gave it to him. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, I like I. I <laughs> that's, that's how I think I would put it as well. Mm -hmm. All right, here Whatever we go. Whatever the opposite of a kill box is, where you just a pleasure valley or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> oh, three hits! They're going directly into that HMP with one agility. <laughs> So loses a shield, takes a couple other ones. Shields are down on that HMP. Here's Jake at initiative four. Gonna go ahead. He might just end up firing the primary at range one. No, proton rocket. He's gonna go big here? Yeah, because the red or the rogue squadron has the lock on green from uh, the R3 droid. Oh, so they, there you go. If uh, Jake ends up killing him, just shoot somebody else. Yep. Spend the focus. That's it. Yeah, there you go. If if he would not have gone big, likely uh, that red HMP ends up living or having or being able to absorb another shot. The Rogue Squadron Proton Torpedo. Remember, R three Astromech had two target locks set up going into the green HMP. This is coming up daisies for Tommy. Proton Torpedo. Mm -hmm. Four dice. That's going to be another full string. Focus to hit. Hit to a crit. And taking three on that green HMP. Rip those shields off. Wow. That that was a, a hell Tommy of a set turn. Up. He divided his time. He let Wedge take on the initial joust there while the E-Wing got uh, in behind for a good shot. Executed uh, the plan. Mm -hmm. A couple people in the chat asking what was uh, AP5's uh, action. So AP5 was not unable to perform an action because it was ionized. And AP5 does not have access to a focus action. So just gets to sit out there looking pretty. And getting shot <laughs> by the brown HMP here. <laughs> Yep, has a reroll from Yellow's lock there. Does need it. And going to be taking one more there on AP5. Still has a couple hole left. Not quite half points. Lionheart286 in the chat 
says, interestingly, Jake can give AP5 a focus token with his ability. This is true. A focus action with his ability. You're right. That is true. That is the only way, or one of the few ways, it has to be another ship saying, you may perform a focus action. Next HMP shot coming in here. Uh, so seeing a calculate on yellow, so must reroll. This is that DGS 47. Two hits. Gets to, keep, gets to keep the calculate for Kraken then. Two. All right, two left on wedge. In the final range one, take him out. Uh, so what he's debating here is uh, DGS 47s. If you attack somebody in your front arc, you can move your lock. Mm -hmm. Or in your bullseye, you can give them a strain. So he's debating whether he needs that third lock on wedge or not. Mm -hmm. And he figures two rerolls, two calculates should be enough to get that uh, max three. Oh, you can't. Spend two. <laughs> you can spend two calculates. He's got two of them. One from Kraken and. Oh, one you're from right. You're right. You're right. I was looking at the wrong ship. I was looking at yellow. Yeah, it's green firing right now. Yep. So he's got the reroll. I mean, he's debating the. He's debating the Kraken. He's like, mm, do I want to save that for Kraken? All right. Got two. Wedge looking for some paint here. Any paint, and he survives. Sure does. Alive on one. Yeah, is is stressed, so might get taken out before his next shot. Uh, that would probably be ideal for the HMPs to never take a wedge shot again. But man, the uh, the advantage in this turn, forty eight to twenty seven, Tommy's way. The thing is, we we talk about it all the time. Even though Wedge is down the one hole, it now requires an additional turn, an additional shot, more resources from Dan to go into Wedge and take it off the table. So we could see Wedge. Uh, what I'm expecting is a two forward, right? Two forward is blue, uh, mm -hmm. and and focus boost. Just get a little bit of space and see if you can get Wedge around for one more pass. We still have 30 yeah. minutes left. Yeah, we do have uh, AP5's ability uh, that could be used uh, when AP5 coordinates. As long as the ship has a single stress, they can still perform an action. So if Tommy's got something tricky planned, he might be able to uh, do something a bit crazy like barrel roll wedge out and then hard turn back in. Mm-hmm. Now hold on, we got we got a. There's a lot of people who have delusions of grandeur right now for Wedge. I got I got to break some hearts here, okay. All right, there you go. The broken hearts out there. Only two charges on Leia right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, that would be cool. Get a Vol stress. Get a focus from HP five, and then K, K turn. Wow. Yeah. That would be the dream. Yeah, he uh, used, could also boost. he used Leia really early on for a uh, for a, a cheeky like backup on AP five mm -hmm. like a stutter step. So it was was a little early, but yeah, it has been used already. I mean, we could see him just boost with Wedge to make some space for AP five. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, I said that wrong. Uh, boost Wedge with AP five to make yeah. some space for Jake. Yeah, 100%. Now, AP5 does move after these HMPs, which is pretty nice. That's like I6 coordinating <laughs> when you have full board knowledge. A couple of people asking about the the um, some of the distances with asteroids. We'll go ahead and give you a quick top-down look here. Yeah, we kind of got central ring with little asteroids. Mm-hmm. So, a lot going on there. The one forward for the E-wing should barely fit. <laughs> should barely fit, but we have... You see, we got a lot of funky angles. The, uh, the repulsor lifts are down on them, right? Um... 
No, they're all active. They're all active. Okay. The only one that the only one that dined was the one who side slipped. Alrighty. So the green green can side slip, create some space there, going kind of to the top of the board from our current view. And you got to remember, these things do have 180 degree arcs as well. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like Brown's going right, side slip. Um, I lost my colors here. Directoid 2 would go to the left then. And yellow kind of goes forward to make a little bit of a kill box for AP5. Mm-hmm. Now, I know that that E-Wing wants to get that Proton Torpedo on the green HMP one more time if he can get it. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to spend that target lock last turn. Absolutely massive. Man. I'm sure I'm sure Dan Dan is regretting that last turn. I, I I'm curious to know, Dan, if when you watch this again later on, what what were you what was your plan? You know, because every we are looking at it in a vacuum, right? We're not in his head. What mm -hmm. was the set of moves that you thought Tommy might do where this was the best option? And I'm thinking maybe he thought that Wedge was going to maybe like two turn towards the top of the board and like try yeah, to run away that way. Because that, that would have caught him 100%. <laughs> All right. That's not bad. I mean, you got to – sometimes when you don't know, you just got to hedge your bets, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you're like, I'm going to do oh, – I mean, it may not make any sense because you're like, well, I did this because he might do that. And I did this over here because he might do some other thing over here. Right. Right. So kind of like hedging your bets. We do see the side slip through the debris from mm -hmm. 47 there. No big deal. Yeah, they, they got blues for days. Rolls for the debris. Fine. We're fine. By the way, thank you to the couple people who have subbed this morning. You guys are awesome, including the Bjorn Forty Two. All right, we got some more side slip action. There's that green HMP trying to get in the way of Jake. Maybe even trying to get in the way of Wedge. We'll see. AP Five, Zoomy Zoomy here. Three right bank. Has access to all the actions it wants in the world. That being one, but <laughs> coordinate or calculate. You got uh -huh. two options. Yeah. Yep. Literally, those are the only two actions last action. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes less is more, you know? <laughs> Ooh, Jake. Watch out. Dinkin and Dinkin. But is he in? Uh, is he in that side arc of the H and P? Sure is. Yep. So boost barrel roll. Yeah. There's there's no reason to take a shot. You cannot, at least not an additional one. This will be a third shot potentially. Yeah, you could maybe bank and go try to find a shot. Oh well, no, you can't. You can't boost in barrel roll. These are, these are these are A wings. Get him. It's barrel roll boosts only. He'd have to. There you go. Yeah, he'd have, he'd have to boost towards the bottom. He got it. From Same idea. Different. Yeah, it works. Got out of there. Frontline access here. Get, throwing some beef. Uh, uh, giving a shout out to his boy Dan here. I think he's got great positioning. I think he does now. Last round, not so much. Mm-hmm. I think we sometimes forget that Jake does have some limitations, but he's pretty good. Yeah, he had to dip out of the fight there. That's good. AP5, not going to have a, a great attack with only the single mod there. I mean, the Proton Torp's coming in. Let's see if Wedge yeah, sets up to the 2 forward boost. See you later. All righty. So con con counter argument in the chat, you know, I if if the plan was and this is we, we did talk about it, right? If the plan was to give up something last turn 
to get better. I would agree that the position in this turn is nice. He's got a lot of options and has a lot of weapons out there for uh, the E-Wing, for instance, that, uh, that that's coming up the lane here. But if he loses the E-Wing, excuse me, if he loses the green HMP this turn uh, with some like, crazy crits or makes it so that uh, it's fairly easy to kill and Wedge comes around and it, it becomes a three on two or a four on two HMP battle, you know, that that is, uh, he's going to, th that trade might not in the end be worth it. And here's another full string, three hits and a crit. And what did we get here? We got a single evade. Three hits and a crit going in. We'll see what the crit is. It is a disabled power regulator. Ooh, forced to go one forward next turn. I mean, that that green HMP is going to need some help from his buddies there because that rogue squadron knows exactly where the green <laughs> Bactoid is going next turn. Like, that, it is one forward. Yeah. The other HMPs are going to close in here. Hopefully, they can deal with AP5. And then uh, turn in to help their budding. All righty, here's the roll. One hit from the Bactoid number three. This is the brown one going into AP5. Two yep. hits. Just three roll because of yellow's lock. Got a squiggle. That's half points on AP5. Starting to close that gap a little bit. 72 to 47. Yeah, we're going to need uh, to do two damage here to take him out. Could shoot over to Jake and move his lock, I guess. Not great uh, options there either. I think you still got to shoot AP5. You could swiftly calculate. Maybe hurt his attack a little bit. Two hits. This could be it for AP5. Getting a ship off the board would be good here. Not quite. Not quite. Still living on one. One health ships, man. They they make one you sad. <laughs> <sighs> when you're one agility, or when you're initiative one and there's one health ships, and you're just getting pilots to go killed before you could take them off the board. Mm. Oh, feels bad. A green HMP has a lot of options right now. I think you got to go big here and just shoot AP5. Take your chances. We got to reroll. I mean, he's rolling about the same amount of agility too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you, you take it on AP5 yeah. and see if you can clear that ship off the board. Here we go. Yeah, Timo. Timo brings up a good fact. Uh, he's got Leia coming up too. Ooh, one hit, spend, one eye. Spend that calculate. Mm, Kraken. Might just re-roll it. Nice, nice. Going big here. Not today. Oh, well. Uh, Gween, uh, GUI, Gween UK, I subbed using Prime yesterday for the first time. Do I need to repeat the process every month or do I, or does it auto do it? You do gotta, you need to do it every month. It's free money, but they, they make, they, they make us work a little bit for it. So <laughs> we appreciate you though. And trust me, we're live enough. We'll remind you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. Really appreciate it here. AP5 throwing some fire here. Two hits. Looking at that brown HMP. Going to be pushing through one damage. I think that's a shield there. Oh, no. No. Yes. Yes. That's a shield. I was looking at the wrong mm -hmm. card. <laughs> These old timers saying things like pilot skill. Well, you know. <laughs> you know, P P 
PS kill is just uh, it, it's it's actually slang. It's no longer uh, what what's uh, this? A collo- it's a colloquial term for us boomers. Yeah. What's this PS you're talking about? <laughs> 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 uh, I, I remember a, really quickly I Sorry. just put a poll on the yep. screen uh, right now who, who do you think has the momentum going into the last couple of rounds we got 20 minutes things could shift we got Tommy has a couple of one hit point ships out there still has two pretty beefy HMPs for Dan so we still got pieces in play where are we at Real quick, I was gonna say uh, I'm I'm only a 2.0 player, and I remember I was watching the podcast, and you guys uh, said EPT, and I was like, "Do you mean a- like advanced proton torpedo?" I'm like, "What is EPT?" Uh, that that I didn't find that out for a while. Ah, yeah, that's our boomer slang. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no way. We need a we need a less offensive word than boomer for <laughs> old <laughs> old first edition players. That, but, but I mean, we're just talking about ourselves. Is it really offensive if we're talking <laughs> about ourselves? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I think it might be. I mean, less to ourselves and more to actual boomers. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's what we qualify. Um, <laughs> that is, I don't know. It's basically the same thing, though. Back in my day. We would have we would play with the same six rocks every match. <laughs> it's, it's I didn't so I didn't see it to until I was already a man. <laughs> I mean, I still in, in in my tournament kit, I essentially carry the same three rocks. It's like the I know these rocks. These are my rocks. You know. It's yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, we only had two factions, and you were scared of large base turrets. All righty. So right now, looking at the repulsor lifts, it looks like we don't have any of them currently active. All of them are inactive. Yeah, this is a bad predicament, I think, for the HMPs. Not not the bad positioning, but a bad decision he's got to make here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wedge, I think Wedge and Jake are setting up some 180-degree moves here. Nice sloop or something from Jake. Uh, 3K. I don't mm-hmm. know. I think they have a K that's not the 5K. And what, one of the things that Dan does have here is he can bring all three of these HMPs to bear on the E-Wing this turn. That is a chunk of points. So if he can clear them off, that would uh, that would definitely start leaning to his advantage. And the question is, can, uh, can Tommy get rid of that green HMP before that crash-in would happen? Yeah, barrels to stop green from... Moving too far forward. Yep, on that Arrowhead. ion move. Our right, has the calculate from Kraken left over, so no big deal. Yeah, I mean, if, if I'm Tommy ion. outside, if you know that one forward is happening, uh, even with the crash in, I think you accept. You're like, you know what? Let me get shot out by a couple missiles to clear a ship, ship off the board. Maybe you just lose your shields, maybe a little bit of hull. But if you can uh, if you can walk away, it's a good day. Now Leia did Leia did get pop pop this turn. So that means all red maneuvers are white maneuvers this turn. Hmm. Kicked in the sloop. I'm surprised. Surprised by that. Me too. He, he could have gotten a shot. He could have slooped and then boosted back in. Mm-hmm. A little bit of wasted move, I movement was, there by Tommy. I, I, you, we say wasted, but I was obviously hindsight that all the, the HMPs turned in. Had they stayed to mess with AP5, Jake would have came and helped them. So we, <laughs> uh, we got to remember the uh, not always hindsight. 
Oh, uh, is 2020? One, Wait. One forward to victory. Always... And he's still, he still has the target lock set up on that back toy. He has not had to spend it. He's been able to utilize mm -hmm. just a fire control system. We got another fully modified shot going in there. Has a he's barrel rolling out of a mm -hmm. front arc because of the strain, but misses an opportunity to take a target, uh, a focus. Not a huge fan of the choice. I I, I understand mm -hmm. the strain going through there, but. I yeah, Brown had changed his lock too. So not only are you getting a strain shot from forty seven, you're then gonna have a follow up uh, concussion missile attack. Mm -hmm. Well, plus I think it arc dodges green as well. Mm -hmm. Potentially. So yeah, yeah, I, th I think it's the right choice over the focus mod. All right, well, we're gonna go boost focus. I think here. Yep. Stay in the fight. So he will but... have two shots in there. All right. But this might actually open up yellow to kill him then. Here we go. Wedge range three. This uh two dice. And that's gonna be two. Only one agility here for the HMP because of Wedge's ability. Waiting for the roll. And has a calculator available. Living on one. That little HMP is trying to hold on to all its Roger Rogers right now. <laughs> yeah, Wedge feeling safe there. Spending the focus because the lock on him is Green's lock. Mm -hmm. So if they can kill off Green, uh, there won't be any rerolls for Wedge. Or rather against him. Three dice coming in here. Fire control system on the focus. That's three hits. And that's that's all she wrote there. Green HMP cleared off the board. All right, so we got two HMPs left here to fire at that rogue squadron. Does he though? I I think I still risk the yellow shot into wedge. Yeah, the, the Just reward, to clear him reward off the board. is so much higher. Yeah, I mean, what's the shield to the rogue? You don't care. This is true. Go big, big, go big, or go home. This is the time. Yeah, yeah, this true. is this is the cut. You you got you got you got to go big here. I mean, they're both rolling three agility on modified, right? So yeah. <laughs> one, one damage to the rogue doesn't mean anything. Go one damage on the wedge. Yeah, if we see it here. Yep. Here we go. Let's let's see if it pays off. He's got to calculate. No, feels bad. Mm. E-Wing is getting shot there in the front arc. Yep, that's a concussion missile. So that'll be a three dice attack. Let's see what we get. Nice. Is the E-Wing in range one of uh, of Wedge? Wedge might have to turn up some cards here because of the concussion missile effect. That'd be pretty good. Yep, that's, that's going to hit. Ooh, checking that range one. Yep. Oh, wrong, wrong button. You wish you had that Arky wing. And 
and that is in range. Ooh. Wes, what you got? Oh. Here we go. Shuffle, shuffle them up. <laughs> Panic. So That's a triple stress punch then. Mm-hmm. Now he's still gonna have to draw aggro for a turn. No actions next turn. We'll see if he does anything uh, of note before he goes into the beyond. But man, concussion missile, good play there. I mean, ha had a potential to kill Wedge. Man, that would have been amazing. AP5, nothing. And we are going back to the planning phase here. Nine minutes left on the clock. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We got a total of four games for you today. Three more after this one. Top eight, top four, and the final. Looking forward to see who wins this Delta qualifier. When it comes to the movement right now, we have inactive on those. Yellow is active. Brown is inactive. So I know it's it's kind of it's a little bit hard to see, but if we uh, if we zoom in here for you guys just a little bit, see the little tokens there, little arrows on the side indicate active. I can side sloop and. You know, them being close, not so much. Or the arrow pointing forward. You're forgetting slip. I'm, I'm not forgetting slip. There's the... Right there. <laughs> I'm talking about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yellow has the ability to get some side slip going there. Now, those side slips are blue, which is awesome, right? So, we're probably going to see some... I mean, what I'm trying to think. What, what could he do to try to make the E-Wing... Is there any way to stop the E-Wing from doing something like a K-turn to protect Wedge? Or is that even the move? Or do you just hard turn towards the brown HMP and say, Hey, if I get blocked by yellow, that's fine because I have shots on brown. But then the brown one, the brown HMP also has a target lock on you, so you're gonna have another concussion missile coming at you. Or does the E wing just get out? You don't really want to disengage and just leave all the shots for Wedge. Mm, tricky decision here. Brown does have, uh, so could go to go one forward. The side slip. Over the cloud is interesting. Oh right, no, he's he's got them inactive. I know uh, yellow, said, yellow is active. Yellow is active. So yellow slip in, brown's not. So brown's crashing in. Yellow's hard. Basically, they're doing this little uh, hard two dance, where yellow hard two side slips, and then brown basically takes his spot with the hard two. So it's not really a lot of places that Ewing can go to get out of that 180 degree arc. Uh, I think he just won bank in. Mm -hmm. Take some shots. All right, there's a side slip out. The yellow and brown likely will end up facing the same direction, I'm guessing. Yeah. Reaching for some locks. We'll see where the priority is. Yep, going going on the wedge. Not surprised there. That, of course, gives a reroll also to the brown HMP ship if that's where the shot ends up going because of network aim. And another turn there. I mean, yeah, that's that's the uh, that's where that's where the shots are. Yeah, it's a little weird now that they're going every every other round, but you know, it looks cool. I like. I I don't like ships that don't have to go forward, but I think the H, it really works with the HMPs. It does. So, yeah, there's the, the repulsor switch there. AP5 
Hero of the Rebellion? Question mark. <laughs> Our little logistics droid coming up on the side. Has the ability to coordinate Jake if he wants to using his ability. He can coordinate a strip while uh, a ship while stressed. Yeah, why not? Barrel roll Jake in there. Put, try to put some damage out. This is kind of the problem with uh, low initiative one agility ships is like you don't trade very well. Mm -hmm. Right? Like you always are taking damage. You can never take each shot off the board before it fires. I do like the I do like the barrel roll option here for Jake if you have the, the hard turn. That's a jab at people, by the way. But I guess I'll settle for the boost here. <laughs> <laughs> Good barrel roll. It makes life so much easier. But, you know. I think he's gonna barrel roll. Oh, I use the arc. He's just getting there. out of getting out of the arc. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, couldn't do that. Couldn't do that without a barrel roll, you know. Just saying. Mm -hmm. And E wing Audi, like no, no, I don't want to. I don't want to hang out here. Yo, my friends, <laughs> my support ships, come save me. <laughs> Has an opportunity to boost here, get a little bit more distance, set up a target lock as well if you'd yeah, like. You boost, you boost double lock, right? Yeah. Set it up. Get set up another attack run. Mm-hmm. It looks like he's he's deciding not to stress the E wing yet. Says I can get a lock, I can get a lock later if I want it. I mean, AP five could coordinate it, so no mm -hmm. big deal. And here's the last breath of wedge. He was not able to get into range one. He would have liked that uh, additional dice there, but here we go. This is going to be a three on zero attack. And he's going to be able to push through too. Not bad, ripping off those shields before his likely demise. Here comes the HMPs. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm like skipping Jake. Sorry, Jake. You get to shoot too. My 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 bad, buddy. You're just not a. You're more than a support ship. Yeah. Let's get some violins in the chat for Wedge <laughs> coming in heroically here. Like it. All right, here's a range, uh, range three shot. Prioritizing the focus fire into a single ship. And gonna have two. We'll see if HMP can get out of it. Gonna be taking one. There's a first blood, first card. Down the four health. And that is another half point scored there by Tommy. 119 to 47. <laughs> Blasting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if the HMPs can can get this done. I b I believe in the HMPs here. They can uh cl get wedge off the board. At least at least clear something. Feel good yeah. about it. Yeah. Okay, wedge now turning on AP5 next round. Figure out the three agility ships after that. No big deal. Network aim reroll. Two. Natties can only save you, and that is not Natties. Unlike the Death Star run, Wedge was unable to run away from this battle and survive. You know, there, there's a uh, a comic book with Wedge where he's like beating up a Imperial soldier, and he's like, "Like we destroyed two Death Stars." And I, I read that panel, and I was like, "But did you really? Did you? You weren't there." For <laughs> we. <laughs> he's taking credit for the first one. Right? Yeah. Like, like. Mm, I'll give you. The, I'll give you the second one. The, the first one. I don't know, man. I don't know if that counts. All right. This uh, this E wing is gonna take a damage here. That's half. Oh no. HMP trying to do some work. One nineteen to one oh eight creeping forward. He's gotta protect that those points on the E wing. 
AP5, one hit. And spend the calculate. I guess he can decide. I know it's cracking out there, but I I don't. At this I mean, point in the game, the I don't timer, think right? Wanna, yeah, <laughs> that was the timer, right? Yeah, that was <laughs> time. Time in the round. And good game. So congratulations, Tommy Adams, getting the win there.